welcome friends now in the section in, in the last I will show you one schematic drawings and in this schematic drawings you will see how the trip circuit supervision relay is installed and it will increase your understanding so let's check the drawing so here you can see this is basically the drawing for a protection panel and here you can see this is our trip circuit is installed here this is the LCC panel E01 local control cubicle and this is the trip coil and these are the auxiliary contact for the breaker this is normally open contact of breaker 52A and this is normally close contact of the breaker 52B so neg written negative is coming negative is applied solidly from this terminal X92 through tip coil 1 it is available at this point now we will see first if the breaker is close how supervision is done so this contact will be closed this will be open so the negative will be flowing from here okay to to this ray rl rl3 so let's see again so when the breaker is closed written negative is available to rl3 and it's getting its positive you can see so this rl3 is getting another supply okay this is not getting supply at the moment so rl3 is not energized in this case so we have to find okay this rl1 no i think rl1 is getting written negative this is rl2 is getting written negative here this, so the negative is coming from here up to here and from here okay this contract is closed so the negative is <coughs> coming from here to here and negative is coming here and solid positive is coming from this loop and through this resistor this relay RL2 is energized so you can see when the breaker is open this relay is energized and it is preventing to issue the alarm signal so these are the, this is the relay uh, F741 and this is type of relay is RMS 6R X31 and here you can see the normally contact close contacts are wired up and you can see this contact uh, in the alarm at the sheet number 33.5 and 31.31 a.1 so this is when the breaker is in close position so we will see what is done when the breaker is in open position so when the breaker is open position then neg negative will be available here so from here it's going to rl3 okay and negative is uh, reaching here and you can see at rl2 positive through the sister we have trace it must be going up to here and from here all this wiring through RL2 R1 so positive when the breaker is, uh, is open the positive is flowing through this you can see this wire to RL3 and negative is coming from this B 52 b to t trip column this is the same uh, drawing and same concept and here you can see this is RL1 basically RL1 is giving alarms and uh, to the alarm panel and it is operated by either RL2 or RL3 so this is the circuit of tape circuit supervision that we have discussed we can go to sheet 33.5 see what it is doing 30 sheet number 34 sheet number 33.5 so 
so we will see this is 33.5 so this is the contact of trip circuit supervision relay rms 6 rx 31 and it is giving energizing this contactor further this contactor you can see it is connected to they have done the contact multiplications so it may be going to the production uh, allow me going to uh, control panel or maybe at remote end so this is how you can see this uh, wiring is done i will keep this drawing also for your study so uh, this was all about uh, our uh, study uh, regarding test circuit supervision and i hope you enjoy this session and uh, and give me the good uh, ranking I will expecting the ranking 5.0 in this and I hope you will not find a better training on trip circuit supervision on online anywhere so thank you very much for uh, being with us and attend this training and I will keep on launching new courses so please keep waiting on it and subscribe and enroll in my courses thank you very much